Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta channel. But today we're talking about the new build for Windows 11 23H2, which is the build 22635.5170. As I've said, for 23H2, and you're going to be surprised that even on 23H2 in the Beta channel, we have some new improvements and features that are pretty interesting. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is also testing out the new start menu layout, the new start menu design, even on the beta channel in Windows 11 23H2. I think this is good news because maybe it means that we will have this new start menu on the main release even sooner than we thought before. And as a short recap, because we've already talked about it, this new start menu layout combines the pinned recommended in all apps section alongside with the different views that you have, name list, name grid, and then category. You can also select to show all the pins because they are by default default limited to two rows and also you can completely disable the recommended section from the start menu if you right click on the start menu go to start settings and then disable show recently added apps show most used apps and also show recently opened items in start and you'll notice that the recommended section will be completely turned off another additional setting is that you can also show all pins by default so whenever you open up the start menu all the pins will be shown by default but overall I've seen that the majority of users like this new design this new layout I think in my personal opinion it is better than the previous one. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft is starting to roll out a change again so that when you launch File Explorer files or folders from outside of File Explorer, by default, they will now open in a new tab rather than opening up in a new window. I think that is pretty nice. And there's also a change where Microsoft disabled the labels for cut, copy, rename, and so on in the context menu in Windows 11 23H2. So if you want to get that back, you should go to Windows 11 24H2 even on the beta channel. Also, as spotted by Phantom Over on Twitter, the disk spacebar inside this PC got a slightly darker shade of blue in this last build. I think this is also a pretty interesting change. Other than that, we have a few fixes in this build. For example, related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue where when using increased text size, the sign out and more options buttons may not be visible in the start menu account manager. Also related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing file explorer to crash in some cases when copying or renaming files in recent builds. And related to input, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you typed in some apps, they might stop working after disconnecting from a remote desktop session. And this is pretty much all there is to it in the beta channel. As I've said, you can also upgrade to 24H2 on the beta channel if you want to see all the latest improvements. And I'm sure that Microsoft will start to focus on 24H2 more, but they are still releasing builds for 23H2. Again, for more information, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your manager from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.